Do you realize that your customers are probably one click away from becoming another realtor's clients? In this week's video, I'm going to share with you eight different strategies that you can use to cement your relationships and hopefully make that problem go away. Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode. And the content was supplied to us by our good friend and the legend that is Floyd Wickman. And stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be sharing with you a link so you can participate with a live one-on-one -on -one interview that we'll be doing with Floyd later on this week. So once again, eight different strategies he shared with us about cementing your relationships to keep your customers, or let's call them clients, closer so other agents don't get them and a lot of this is gonna sound like common sense common sense duh but the problem is even though it's common sense many agents aren't implementing these strategies because they sound too easy so let's get started the first one is provide personalized service well you know that one sounds pretty easy but again in this technical uh, technological age that we live in we rely too much on automated systems to do the follow-up with our customers they need to hear from you they need to hear your voice they have to know that you care and remember People don't necessarily remember what you say, but they remember how you made them feel. That's crucial. So you need to follow up, stay in touch with your customers. Which brings us to the next point, call them often. Oh my gosh, after you take the listing, how often do you call them? Well, let's go back a step. This all happens when you do your listing presentation and you set the expectations. What is it that you're going to do? What is it that you're going to deliver? And you ask them that question. By the way, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, how often would you like me to talk to you? Once a week, twice a week, what is that frequency? And make sure that you do it then. And even if you have nothing to say, they know if the market's slow, their house isn't selling, well, probably it is because of the price or the smelly dog or whatever it is. It's no mystery to them. Don't be afraid to call. They want to hear your voice. They want that assurance that things are going well, and that's what you need to do. The next part of this is under promise and over deliver. Oh my gosh, how many times have we gone in with a 102 point listing presentation? You know which point they remember? Number 102, the one that you didn't deliver. Under promise, over deliver. That's what big businesses do. You need to harness that same philosophy. Under promise, over deliver. Next part here, listen often. Oh my gosh, again, this goes back to our listing presentation or buyer's presentation. You need to ask the tough questions so you know what the motivation is. And then after you've asked the question, you gotta listen to the answer. Don't assume that what you want out of the tra transaction is the same thing that they, that they want. You need to align your goals. And part of it, again, is part of the listing presentation or buyer's presentation. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, right up here in the cards will be a link to a video that we did that covers this more in depth, the questions to ask in the listing presentation. And here's one more that I'll leave you with. Provide your clients with the worst case scenario, not the best. Let me repeat that. Provide your clients with the worst case scenario, not the best. Now in any transaction, you know that there's going to be 10, 20, 30 different people that they're gonna come in contract with, the contact with. It'll be a lender, a inspector, a title company. Every one of those potential people that are involved in the transaction could potentially drop the ball. So we have something called the 88 turbulences, 88 possible things that can go wrong. By counseling your clients ahead of time, with what these 88 things are. When something does go wrong, it's a matter of saying, hot dog, that's number 87, we're on top of it. But again, you've set the expectation. And going back to what we said earlier, under promise, over deliver, it ties into the same philosophy. By letting them know all the things that could go wrong, nothing comes to them as a surprise. So. Those are a few. Floyd's got eight in total. Make sure you download the article. That'll cover all eight. Give us a like, give us a share. And I mentioned that we are doing a live one-on-one -on -one with Floyd. We are doing a live interview on Facebook. And in this video, there'll be a link to our AIC, agentinnercircle.com Facebook group page. And that's where we'll be doing the video. Come with your questions, post them, and we'll be answering them live time, one-on-one -on -one with Floyd Whitman. So I hope you found some wisdom and some applicable things from today's video and I look forward to your comments and feedback. Give us a big like and we'll see you during our interview with Floyd. And I do believe that's Thursday, the July the 19th, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. See you then.